Hi, Matthew here, and today I'm going to show you how to get audio from Bitwig Studio into your favorite sampler. In this case, it's the Digitact. Go into your Digitact and or sampler of choice. Go into the MIDI config, sync settings, and make sure that clock send is enabled. Next, make your way back to Bitwig. Go into your settings, go into your synchronization tab, find your sampler, electron dig attack, select clock and make sure start and stop is enabled. Next, go up to your sync method, choose MIDI clock, find your sampler. Now that we've done this, you can see this orange button up here. This is the MIDI takeover button. So when it's enabled, or orange, you can see the start and stop are grayed out. That's because it's receiving transport from the device that we selected in the settings menu prior. Hit play here, and it's playing here. Pretty cool. Now that we have the clock and the transport control set up correctly, Let's configure a way to get the audio from Bitwig into our sampler. To do this, we're going to use an effects track. Right click, select effects track, open the contextual browser, find the module called HWFX, which stands for hardware effects. Select the analog outputs that are going to the analog inputs of your sampler, and we're almost ready to go. Now I should point out that I am not using Overbridge. I am using the analog outputs of the DigAttack routed into my interface. And that's coming in on this track here. I'll rename it DigAttack. So now we're gonna choose our sound source to send to the DigAttack. I'm gonna use this JPiano patch that I made in the grid. Go to your send effects section here is hardware effects. Select post, bring it all the way up. Now the audio is being sent to our DigAttack. If I press play, we can see it on the meter. Perfect. So now that that's all set up correctly, we can go into our patch in the grid and get it ready to record. I'll arm this, head back over to my patch and hit play. Cool. We can see our recording here and audition it. As you can see, it worked perfectly. And that is how you set up hardware send effects in Bitwig Studio and how you can do some awesome sampling on your DigAttack with your DAW, which is just uber powerful when you're using Bitwig Studio's grid. Thanks for watching.